In this short video, I'm going to tell you how we can estimate the standardized regression. The standardized regression refers to a regression model in which we use standardized variable instead of the original variable uh, and we estimate the regression model. So before uh, estimating that model, uh, the data I'm going to use is, is USA manufacturing sector and the data cover year 2005. The data is for 50 states and Washington DC, so 51 observation and uh, the variable include our output which is measured in thousands of US dollars, the labor input which is measured in thousands of labor hours or worker hours and the capital input which is measured as capital expenditure in thousands of US dollars. So before going to e-views and estimating this uh, standardized regression model, let me uh, show you the theory part. The standard regression model, could uh, this data could be modeled as output being function of labor and capital in a standard uh, uh, regression model in which uh, Q is output, L is labor, it is capital respectively. Now the output being modeled as function of labor and capital, that's a standard regression model in which we will be using labor and capital variables as it is, as measured in labor hours or capital in thousands of dollars or output in thousands of dollars. Uh, when we estimate the regression model in standardized form, so we can represent the standardized form with a static. So QI static refers to the standard value of the regression original output. QI is equal to QI minus Q bar. Q bar refers to the, the, the coefficient, uh, the, the, the mean value of the output and SQ refers to the standard deviation of the output. Similarly, LI static is equal to labor value, the corresponding labor value, uh, uh, the labor input value minus the uh, average of labor output and divided by the standard deviation of labor. Similarly, capital steric is equal to Ki, that's the individual values of labor, of capital minus then the K variable mean value and then the standard error of K. And we can use USA output labor and capital data as well discussed on previous slide. Now I'm going to show you that how we can estimate the first model which is in journal form that straightforward task and the other one which is in the standardized form. So let me move to eViews now. When eViews open we will need the data to uh, import or the data file need to be opened. So let me open the data file. I will go to file I will import it from the desktop. It's on my desktop, so I will import it from the desktop. On desktop, it's with the output labor capital file. So I can see here observation, output, labor, and capital. So I'm going to export it as a standard procedure. Once I import, I can see I have output, labor, and capital, and observation. So to run the first model, which is just regressing output on labor and capital, all I have to do is to select output, labor and capital, open it as equation and I should make sure that my dependent variable output is written first, then the labor, second variable independent and then the capital, the third variable in the line and second uh, independent variable and the constant itself. Method is e square all 1 to 51 observation are selected where I click OK. So this result shows that output was the dependent variable, labor was the independent variable and capital was also independent variable and uh, this e views output shows the simple linear regression model output being regressed on labor and capital. So I will make this freeze so that this result stay here and I will close this variable group. Now I need to run this model again but now this time using output labor and capital in its standardized form. Now to create this into standardized form let me show you the original model. We already run the first model in which both the variable was in its original form but in standardized form the variable r is in z form or in standard normal form. So to do that, I first need to generate QI variable, then LI steric variable, 
QI static variable, then LI variable, while I static variable, and then KI static variable as per the given formula. So there are two ways of doing that. First way could be that I calculate first the Q mean for QI series, then subtract the mean from every value of the series, then divide that resultant column with the standard deviation of the output. Now this is a three steps. First calculate the mean, then calculate the standard deviation, then subtract the mean from standard deviation, uh, the, the, the mean from the original value of the variable and then divide it with its standard error. It's a lengthy process. So similarly, this LI static creation would also need three to four steps and so on for the capital as well. So a direct way of this could be also done in which we directly ask the E views to generate a new variable QI static which is equal to the original value minus mean value and divided by the standard deviation. So let me show you how we can do that in eViews. In eViews, to generate the standardized variable, all I can do is first I go to generate series. In generate series, I will write equation. Let's say I want to generate the output standardized variable. So I would write output and then I'm naming it underscore Z just to refer it to the standardized value. So you can name it some other name as well. For example, output standardized or output static. I, I, I would prefer to leave it as output Z. So output Z should be equal to. So I'm going to tell eViews that first of all, uh, I will start with a bracket output. then minus so output is the original variable i'm going to subtract mean to calculate the mean i will take at the rate of mean and within bracket i would write output so what does it tell the e views that take the output and subtract the mean of the output from this uh, so e views is going to subtract the mean of output from every value of the output in the column Next, I close this bracket and then I divide it. I ask the eViews that whatever is obtained, divide that with standard deviation. For standard deviation, I could write at the rate of STDEVE. So that's the operator to calculate the standard deviation in the regression. I ask the eViews that first take the output, subtract the mean of the output from the output value, then divide that answer with the standard deviation of the output. So it automatically generate the output uh, standardized form. So when I click OK, I will do all that four steps which I discuss uh, in, uh, in the model. Now, this output Z variable which is created that's the standardized form or q static similarly i will need to create labor static and capital static let me do that again so i will go to object generate series i will name it as labor and then z that should be equal to bracket labor minus at the rate of mean of labor then I divide this with standard deviation of labor. Labor Z is equal to labor minus at the rate of mean of labor. One bracket for the mean operator and the other for the term and then it should be divided with standard deviation of labor okay I didn't wrote at the rate of with standard deviation so that's the mistake which I did so okay so I got labor Z score as well so the same I do for the capital as well capital Z is equal to bracket capital minus mean of capital and then the resultant divided by standard deviation of capital okay, I, yes. I 
got output in standardized form, labor in standardized form, and capital in standardized form. The rest is straightforward. I select the dependent variable first, then the second independent variable, and then the third independent variable. The third variable uh, in the model. I open it as a group. Output labor, output standardized form, labor standardized form, and capital standardized form. Least square method and all observation. Click OK, and here you go. So now we can compare the output of the two models. Of course, we can think of in terms of R square, F statistic value, the individual significance and all that, but I'm more concerned with the coefficients of the two models. The model which is in the normal form, which do not have any conversion, in which we regress output on just labor and capital says that if labor increase by one unit, which was labor hours, so if there is one additional one labor hours, the output increase by 47,000. When capital is one additional unit, the output increase by 9.95 units. However, the standardized that forms is in standard deviation units. So one standard deviation change in labor change the output by 0 0.402 standard unit, standard deviation, similarly capital bring 0 0.602 standard deviation change in output for every one standard deviation change in capital, keeping obviously the other things constant. Now someone may ask why we are interested to convert the labor and capital into a standardized form. Why not we just use the normal standard regression? So to answer for that question is that when we were using output as a function of labor and capital, it was just telling us that labor and capital individually is affecting output, but we can't say that how prominent, we can't compare labor and capital with one another, that which one is affecting the output strongly because labor is measured in labor hour and capital is measured in thousands of dollars, so you can't compare them. However, if you convert it to a standard normal form, standard uh, standardized form of variables, the variable which you are using in the model are now become comparable because both of them are now measured labor and capital in standardized form are measured in standard deviation so and output also in standard deviation so you can compare now that labor and capital which one is prominent or which one is more strongly affecting the output so that make it more useful i hope you like this video thank you